My name is Rick Van Ostrand. I supervise the hatchery system in the state of Connecticut. Uh, we're here at the Kensington State Fish Hatchery and we're spawning at salmon that were produced from sea run salmon eggs that we've obtained from the Connecticut River Salmon Program. The process begins in September when we uh, pull the adult fish out of their our dirt, our earthen ponds, and we check them for uh, sex, males and females, and we get numbers. Uh, we check them for ripeness to see if they're ripe, and then we place them in our concrete ponds. From the concrete ponds, we pick, since we've been doing it for so long, we generally know when they'll start to spawn. So we'll go in and check them for ripeness. Ripeness is when the fish, uh, the, the eggs in the female, uh, they become grobbed with eggs. In other words, the eggs, when the eggs are unripe, they're in a skein. They're actually in a membranous skein within the fish. But when they become ripe, they actually, the skein disintegrates and they, they fall loosely into the body cavity of the fish. And then we take the females and the males and we have uh, anesthesia that we put in the water. We anesthetize the fish so they go to sleep. And we physically take the female out and uh, manually strip the eggs out of the female. Just with slight pressure, the eggs will come right out of the female. Before we fertilize the eggs with the females, the, the females uh, actually produce a lot of fluid with the eggs. So what we do is take a portion of that fl fluid from each female and we send it off to a lab and we test for viruses. And hopefully they come back negative and we have no issues. Once we're done with the female, same thing with the male, grab a male, fertilize the eggs, add a little water and mix them up in the bowl. Uh, once we fertilize them, we send them over to the egg rinsers and there's a group of people that are in the egg rinsing station and they'll actually rinse all the excess milk out of the eggs and uh, then we'll send those eggs off to the incubation. They're put in five gallon buckets with fresh water flowing through them. They're allowed to water harden. Uh, water hardening is when the egg actually takes water into itself and it becomes hard. When they first come out of the female, they're very flaccid, they're very soft and mushy. Uh, but water hardening produces like a, a BB like, hard BB like egg. And we do that for two to three hours. We let them water harden. Uh, once we have them water hardened, we uh, have to disinfect them with a surface disinfectant, an iodine solution. And we actually enumerate the eggs and put them in by numbers into incubation trays in the incubation room. What we do is we have to enumerate them, and it's actually a displacement method where we count out 50 eggs very dry, dry them off, and put them in a um, uh, volumetric burette, and it displaces so many milliliters of water. And there's a chart you go to, and whatever amount of milliliters of water is displaced by 50 eggs, there's a chart that you go to that will tell you how many eggs that that is per ounce. Then we measure the ounces by displacement in a volumetric flask. And we get a number, total number, and then once we get that total number, we put them in the iodine, disinfect them for 10 minutes, and place them in the incubation tray. Uh, depending on how many females we spawn, uh, the females produce about, these females produce about 7,500 eggs apiece. So if you do the math, you get 10, that's 75,000. So on average here, uh, with the diminishing numbers that we're dealing with, we're probably taking over 100,000, 150,000 eggs on an egg take. The salmon program began in 1967. It was originally developed to uh, have a sustainable fishery that returned to the Connecticut River for the angling population for the Connecticut River, and then the Fish and Wildlife Service and the National Marine Fisheries Service, the two federal agencies. Uh, but with the diminishing returns over the years, uh, people decided to pull out of the program, basically. But Connecticut felt that it was important enough to maintain the legacy of these fish because genetically these fish are different. We've developed this basically the Connecticut River strain of fish uh, since 1967 when we started putting fish out into the river and getting returns back. So we felt it was important enough to maintain uh, the genetic legacy so we, we're the only hatchery that's doing these now.